Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today we will be taking a look at the winter contingency event that is currently going on in Halo Infinite. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump straight to it. So as you can see here, we actually have a smaller pass compared to the Tenrai event. Um, yeah, so it goes up to 10 tiers. Not not too bad. A lot smaller compared to the Tenrai event. I believe the Tenrai event had like 15 or 20 tiers. So it may be a smaller pass, but you actually get some quality stuff here. So you get this cool little nameplate for tier 1. You get an armor coating, which looks really nice. Good color combination. Then you get a shoulder piece and you get the other shoulder piece not bad you actually get some armor pieces and then you get an AR skin it seems like same color combination pretty pretty neat looks good you get a little like snowflakes uh, backdrop or whatever they're called and then you get another nameplate not bad then you get another coating for the sidekick which is not too bad as well and probably my favorite one out of this entire pass you get like this cool little pouch this is like towards the ending of the pass though so it's gonna take quite a few days to get there but uh yeah i'm looking forward to this pouch I, I like this pouch looks pretty sweet and then you get to the final tier which is a little disappointing i'm not gonna lie it's just kind of like a orange brownish color with a bit of like tan on it um kind of odd i think they were probably going for like a gingerbread kind of color so i could kind of see that maybe they're going for that or something so maybe it's all right but I kind of expected something cooler for like the last tier. Now you may be wondering, well, how the heck do I progress through this pass? And the way you actually progress through this pass is by playing one game of any mode. It doesn't matter. It could be Team Slayer, Ranked Arena, BTB, doesn't really matter. Any mode, you play one game, you know, you got to complete it, of course. And once you complete it, you gain one tier. Now, unfortunately, you can't go at your own pace, which is my biggest gripe with it. Um, you can only get one tier per day, so that means you have to complete one game every day for 10 days, and you'll be able to complete the pass. And I'm not really a fan of that, but I think the reason it's like that is because they basically kind of put a band-aid on this event system because they need to like do a major overhaul to this event system because if because if you actually look above right where it says winter contingency look below that and it says you earn rewards by completing event challenges and so there actually is no event challenges you have to complete one game per day and you get one tier so it's kind of like a band-aid fix to it um, because this whole system, I think they're going to rework it because I don't think anyone's really a fan of it. Because in the Tenrai event, you were only allowed to get to like tier 7 or 8. Because if you did all the event challenges, that's the highest you could go. They kind of like capped you. They just cap you at like a certain tier. And that was like really, it was pretty ridiculous. And a lot of people were like, you know, criticizing that and just saying that, you know, that's not cool and stuff. If you miss like three days or four days, I think you get screwed over because the event is only like 13 days, I think. So they give you like a couple chances. But uh, if you miss like more than I think three or four days, you won't be able to complete it. Um, so, yeah, I just think it's unfortunate that it's like that. But I do think this is way better compared to like doing the event challenges where it just capped you. Um, I mean, I think another way they could have fixed this or improved it was make it so they gave out more event challenges or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like this whole event system needs like a major overhaul really is all it, all it comes down to. I think in my opinion, you know, it is definitely better compared to the Tenrai event, but it could be better for sure. And honestly, I personally would have, I wouldn't mind if they'd like tied like some cool game mode. Because it's only an event pass. There's no like cool game mode involved with it. Um, which I think is unfortunate. Um, I think another thing they could have done. Is like add like some snow. Some Christmas lights. Kind of like make the maps more festive. For like the time being. And I think this would have made. It would have made this whole event thing. So much better. Anyways guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. So this is the winter con contingency event. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think it's better than the Tenrai event? I think it is. You know, you're at least able to actually complete it. 
um, but you know definitely could have some improvements and you definitely get some quality items out of this event so with that being said i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching of course consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support and it really helps me out peace Thank you.